We all appreciate the distinct advantages and angling tool the stone is, but the other great advantage is it's literally a natural stone. Now one of the problems we have in this industry is lead fishing weights, they're made of a known toxin. And if you lose that into water, we really don't know what's going to happen long term. Unfortunately, there's a trend in the industry to promote the jettisoning of leads, which I personally think is foolish, reckless, and um, something I don't support at all. If you're going to lose lead into water, we don't know what the long-term effects are. What we do know is if you lose, leave a lead in water and bring it out 100, 200, 300 years later, nothing's living on it. It's a toxin. If it's lost in there, things have to move home. They have to move away from it. They can't live on it. So it's a genuine problem. We also have the fact that bodies like the World Health Organization are basically saying we don't want children to come into contact with lead in all areas, including fishing weights. So there's a lot of negative about it. And obviously we have a one-stop shop solving the problem with the stone. It's not toxic. There is no worries. And with this happening, you're seeing a lot of, to be fair, very famous international fisheries, Gillams in Thailand, Gills and Scales in Belgium, Holland and Germany, Echo Pool in France, more English fisheries now scrutinising the fact that this is a problem. All this lead being lost in our waterways is a problem. And they've joined with Palatrax, the Palatrax Associated Fisheries Scheme, in acknowledging that it'll help their customers catch more fish, which is great for them, and great for the customers, obviously, great for us, the angler. But also, it nullifies any worry about the toxicity and the problems and the future problems lead may well cause. So, with Gillams, they've just come out literally with a statement recently, banning all lead, going stones only, because they're aware of over three tonne of lead being lost in their single fishery alone, and that's just what they know of. So it is an advantage, it's got a massive advantage, it's, got, it's won international awards like the Green Apple, it's won the best new product in the ICAST, the Las Vegas trade show, we've had Canadian awards, we've been acknowledged, we've even, even been asked to go on Dragon's Den to support it and promote it. So it really has these masses of angling tools, but as a removing the controversy of lead completely, the stone is really a genuine tool in all those areas and it really, really does help you catch more fish and it really is a tool that could be actively used and properly used within fishery management.